Um, the bottom line for me is it's, it's not just about can you talk a good game, it's can you do things, can you get things done, can you work with people that are different, um, you know, have you served people. Uh, I've been doing teaching and social work my entire life, um, countless volunteer experiences and across numerous communities in my district. So not only for all the work I've done in Beloit, but I also in the, I serve in a volunteer capacity as the director of the food pantry in Orfordville, little town north of Beloit. Um, I've worked with the Albany Chamber of Commerce. Um, I, I'm in Broadhead serving on a committee to develop a community center there. I, I'm getting to know the people in my district and serve them. I'm not just going into politics for or a career ambition. I'm doing it because I want to get some resources for the people that I care about, and I think I'm the person that can get that done. Beloit is moving in the right direction. I think this district is moving in the right direction, but we need the state to really be backing us up. And where I see myself uh, being set apart is that I think that leadership uh, prepares me to go into the legislature and build relationships that will be effective to represent this area. I have the endorsement of a number of my colleagues on the Beloit City Council, as well as uh, Janice Ringhand, whose seat I'm running for, mm -hmm. Judy Robson, who's a former majority leader in the state senate and represented Beloit and other parts of this district, and also Dan Schuf, Chuck Benedict, Kim Hickson, who are all former representatives from this area. And I think they understand what it takes to be effective in Madison in the legislature. That's why they're supporting my campaign, because they've seen the work I've done on the Beloit City Council and they know that I have what it takes.